Hey, thank you guys for sending it to me. Uh, Jalil Hackett signed with Matchroom Boxing on Zone Boxing. Will Jalil Hackett and his father and his team apologize to me? I repeat, will Jalil Hackett, his father, and his team, oh, we can't be doing interviews with me no more. He be over here hating. I was hating, huh? I was hating, huh? I was hating, huh? And everything I said came true. I told you this was going to happen. I told you this was going to happen. <laughs> I wish you good luck. I wish you well. I, I, I believe you to be a talented fighter, but you're not talented. Your team isn't talented business wise. Let me take y'all back. Let me take y'all back, y'all back, y'all back. And the team Hackett is going to remember this, but I need to refresh their memory. We're at the Nets game five, six years ago. I don't know. The Hackett's probably know the date. We were in New York, excuse me, Brooklyn. Well, that's New York. And uh, we're in the VIP area, eating in the back. I believe we're by the ice cream thing. I think I got ice cream. Yeah, I think I got, remember we were at the Nets game and you know what I mean? And uh, we were in the back and in the hospitality area and because we had four seats. Um, and I said, are you sure you want to sign with Floyd? I'm walking and we're just having casual conversation and Jaleel Hackett was excited. Jaleel Hackett was excited. He was real, real excited. And I asked the dad, we were sitting there. It was the Watsons. It was me. And I said, are you sure you want to sign? And we got witnesses. Are you sure you want to sign there? I didn't object to it, but I knew what was going to happen. It's not even foreshadowing. It's the reality. When a man promotes a, a $18 million watch versus an 18 and 0 fighter, you got problems. If a man promotes the sex industry more than the boxing industry, you have a problem. And I knew this day was coming since then. Now, if they're honest, they will tell you what I said. I said, are you sure you want to sign with Floyd? <laughs> yeah, Julio Hackett was, he, he was a kid. He was 16, 17 years old. And, uh, but his dad, you know, and I don't, here's the one thing you guys got to know about me. If you get me in the conversation, if we're in a real conversation and we're not hunky Dorian playing around, but if we're having a conversation, you're going to get my real sentiments. You're going to get it. Whether you like it, dislike it, I'm not going to say, well, maybe this and then. No, you're going to get my real sentiment. I don't I don't see a problem outside where I'm not invited to that I will jump myself in the middle of. You know what I mean? I give commentary, you know, but in terms of private, I, I don't. But the reality is I'm a genius. The reality is I'm fearless. The reality is y'all see these. Y'all see the Hawthorne Estate? It's beautiful. You see the sweater? Happy 99th, man, last Sunday. Malcolm X, man, and uh, El Haj Malik El Shabazz. And uh, you got played. You don't get the time back. You don't get the unearned money back. And Eddie Hearn is going to treat you right. White Jesus. White Jesus is going to save you, man. Eddie Hearn is white. Eddie Hearn is Jesus. Eddie Hearn is Nazareth, Jesus of Naz Jesus of Matchroom. Saving y'all. Remember he was the Antichrist? Remember Leonard Ellaby? Leonard Ellaby wanted y'all to stay away because of the truth. Leonard Ellaby can't even put on a fight right now. He got home issues he got to deal with. His baby mom ain't doing too well. I say that respectfully. And you want him to put on a fight? When a man got to figure out how he's going to make a mortgage payment?
But y'all go ahead and keep believing what y'all want to believe. I'm unattached. I'm unhinged. I can say what I want to say and still unlock my front door. People can't say what they want to say on the internet because it affects, it affects their ad sense. <laughs> yeah. That's why no one's... I'll save that for the next video. But um, will Team Hackett apologize and say, Fred, you were right? Will they say? Will they? See, no one's going to... All of the thousands of video, thousands of videos, the thousands of videos, retweets, Instagram posts, X, whatever, comments, thousands. No one's going to take them back and say, Fred, you predicted this downfall. I did. Because the numbers don't add up. If. If everybody's going to a fight for free at the Barclay, how are you going to get a return on your investment? So, no one's going to apologize to me. Everybody's just going to go quiet and ignore this video. How about y'all tag Jaleel Hackett's dad? How about you tag him? I don't know his name. I'll just call him Mr. Hackett. Everybody go out there and say, go to his Instagram and say, will you apologize to barbershop conversations? And say he was right all this time. Muhammad Ali had to do it. Didn't Muhammad Ali say, Muhammad Ali, uh, El Haj Malik El Shabazz was right. M many of the things he said came true. That came out of Muhammad Ali's mouth. Will that come out of Team Hackett's mouth? <laughs> Peace.